Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to vastly reduce the amount of vibrations a QNAP NAS will produce. So QNAP NASs are generally very quiet, the fans themselves are also very quiet as well. What produces the amount of noise that you normally hear is the vibrations from the large dense platters. So I've got 12 terabyte Western Digitals in here and they get kind of noisy. And today I'm going to show you how to kind of dampen this noise really easily. So what we're going to be using is this kind of sticky foam. I'll leave a link to something like this in the description. So basically this is double-sided foam tape and it's designed so that you can um, have one side as an adhesive and then you can peel this other side and that will allow two things to stick together but we won't be peeling this. We're going to be using this to dampen the hard drives inside here. This kind of tape is absolutely perfect. It is about 1.7 mils. I think it's two millimeters in thickness. Is enough to give plenty of sound dampening, but not enough to interfere with the SATA connection itself. So what I'm gonna do is to leave a link to something similar to this in the description. For example, this is the TS664. This will also apply to most other QNAP NASs as well, as long as there's enough clearance on the hard drives. So I'm just gonna show you what I would normally do here. What I wanna do is to remove the front cover, and what we're going to do is to unlock the NAS front cover. I'm going to take this off. And then basically we're going to go into our hard drive. So what you want to do is make sure that you have labeled these correctly in some way. So for example, if we have an array already, then we want to put the hard drives back exactly in the order that they normally kept in. So make sure that you either label these and number them one to six or one to four, or how many bays you've got, and then we can reconstruct this later. So I'm gonna be taking out the bays here and just make sure that they're in order. And then once we've done this, we're gonna be dampening the noise from here. So I've taken out the hard drives and basically what we're gonna be doing is to be placing this kind of sticky tape, kind of like the way we've, that we've done here already. So. This kind of thickness is pretty much ideal. If we have anything thicker than this, then it's gonna actually interfere with the hard drive placement itself. And uh, you don't want anything to interfere with the SATA connectors. So when the hard drive clips into that, you don't want that to be out of shape in any way. So what we're gonna do is to use something relatively thin. You can also use a uh, Velcro tape as well. Just use the kind of side which is not the scratchy side, but the soft side, and then this is gonna absorb all of the vibrations and kind of keep the hard drives a bit more snug inside. So basically, we're just gonna lay these strips down. Basically, just take a length and then cut a longish piece, which is gonna cover this bottom part here. And basically, you want as many as you need for the number of bays that you have. So I'm just gonna prepare five more bits of sticky tape, and then we're gonna lay them all down one by one. Okay, so I'm just gonna put my tape in. So it doesn't really matter how long the tape is, as long as it kind of covers the front and the back. So in theory, you could probably use a lot less of this tape. I've laid down my tape, and uh, we're just gonna put the hard drives back in now. So we need to put them back in the order that we took them out in, just so that our array is correctly put back together. So if you can see here, I'm gonna put this back in, and we have a smooth fit, and it hasn't interfered with that SATA connection. So that's nice and snug. So we're just gonna put this all back together. So make sure everything's nice and snug, nothing is interfering. And then we're gonna pop this cover back on. Lock the NAS. Now I'm gonna plug this back in and then turn it back on. So basically here I've got my NAS where my cupboard is and we're gonna turn this on. And I can basically already hear that it is far quieter than it used to be. So we can hear the spinning up of the drives, but we don't have any of the kind of large hard drive noise that we had before. So anyway, that is a really, really simple fix for weird hard drive kind of high pitch vibrations for the TS664 and also other QNAP drives this is also gonna to apply to. It is a really simple fix. Make sure to click on the link in the description for the kind of tape that I've used. Anyway, thanks for watching. I've got lots of other QNAP tutorials on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.